While the world still stumbles over its obsession with lithium, a quiet but explosive movement has just turned the tables, and the epicenter of this technological earthquake goes by the name of Tesla. Elon Musk has just unveiled what could become the biggest blow yet to China's dominance in the global battery supply chain. The weapon? An aluminum ion battery that promises not only to rewrite the rules of the game, but also to usher in a new era of energy independence. Scheduled to enter production in 2026, this battery is not just another innovation. It heralds a geopolitical and industrial shift that few are prepared to face. And China? It has already begun to react desperately. With more than 47,000 cyber attacks recorded against Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. When espionage reaches this level, the impact is real. The explanation for this frenzy lies not only in the material used, but in the revolutionary architecture behind this battery. Instead of relying on traditional slow lithium ion transport, Tesla developed a system with quantum tunnel, allowing aluminum ions to pass through the crystal structure 23 times faster than any Chinese lithium-based cell. This speed not only drastically reduces recharging time, but also delivers peak power that transforms the car's performance. Such an advancement doesn't go unnoticed, especially by those who built a $340 billion empire on the limitations of lithium. Beijing knows this, and it's panicking. The most surprising thing, however, comes from the invisible heart of these new cells. Unlike conventional batteries, which wear out over time, Tesla created nanostructured graphene channels that self-regeneration during charge cycles. Yes, you read that right. The battery not only resists wear and tear, it improves with use. In internal tests, after 100,000 charge cycles, the battery demonstrated a performance 13% superior compared to its original state. This means a durability that not only breaks the logic of planned obsolescence, but also destroys the business model of many competitors. What do you do when your rival's product improves over time while yours rots? The Chinese industry's response so far has been silence and espionage. Security reports indicate ongoing hacking attempts on Tesla's servers, seeking to track down any clues to the battery's engineering. China's dependence on scarce materials and aggressive extraction has ensured its advantage for two decades. But now, Tesla is playing with different pieces. With aluminum being the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust, control is no longer a matter of access, but of intelligence. And that's where the tables are turned, because the resource monopoly no longer exists. This shift isn't just technical, it's strategic. The use of aluminum represents more than a material choice. It's a break with the previous paradigm. By building a battery with common, cheap, and easily recyclable raw materials, Tesla weakens the Chinese giant's main protective wall. They bet everything on scarcity, on the difficulty of extraction, on control of the mines. Tesla responded with something unexpected, Abundance combined with technology, a move that transforms not only the product, but the entire ecosystem surrounding it. And this explains why the impact is so profound. And it's not just Tesla that understands the magnitude of this shift. Investors, governments, and competitors are already trying to decipher what this means. After all, a battery that dispenses with rare earth metals improves over time and delivers near-instantaneous power sounds more like science fiction than an assembly line product. But now, it's in the final testing phase and ready for mass production in 2026. This is no longer a promise for the future. It's a real risk for those still betting on lithium as a strong currency. And those who depend on China to fuel their production chain may be, without realizing it, digging their own hole. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, things are abuzz. The U.S. Department of Commerce is already considering tougher intellectual property protection measures, fearing leaks beyond China's attempts. The climate is one of an energy cold war, a conflict fought not with tanks, but with gigawatts and atomic microstructures. 
And, for the first time in years, the United States appears to have regained the technological lead, not only in electric cars, but in the very energy matrix upon which the future will be built. What seemed like just another Tesla announcement suddenly became a game changer. It's no longer about the next car or about Elon Musk breaking records. It's about breaking an empire, an empire built on mineral exploration, government subsidies, and technological dependence. When the battery changes, everything changes with it. Prices, suppliers, governments, international agreements. And now, with aluminum at the center of the board, China loses its most valuable card. And Tesla, once again, changes the rules of the game. While China is still trying to understand how it lost its advantage, Tesla is already operating at a different level. And what's most striking now is the factor cost in a market where every penny matters, especially in entry-level electric vehicles like the Model 2, reducing the battery price per kilowatt hour is a matter of survival. Chinese manufacturers like CAT and BYD were able to maintain their prices at around, yes, 87 Vavitsidorbegrisers, thanks to massive scale and subsidized labor. But Tesla went further. With the new aluminum ion battery, this cost dropped to you 61 Tiladi Kiri Che, 30% reduction, that simply tears apart China's industrial advantage and leaves the field open for a new era of aggressive pricing made 100% on American soil. This drastic cost drop didn't happen by magic. Tesla tapped into something that already existed, but no one was paying attention. The United States aluminum infrastructure. While lithium relies on long, time-consuming and polluting supply chains, aluminum has been refined in places like Kentucky, Tennessee, and Texas for decades. What Elon Musk did was use this forgotten infrastructure as the basis for a revolution. Without needing to open new mines or build logistics routes from scratch, he optimized what was already in place. And this type of operational intelligence shortens timelines, reduces risks, and increases margins. To outsiders, it may seem like a purely technical move, but inside the factories, the impact is enormous. Lithium-ion battery production lines, which would previously have taken up to three years to be adapted, can now be converted to aluminum ions in just eight months. This means Tesla can scale faster, with less investment, and respond to global demand before its competitors even finish their first round of planning. The speed of adaptation has become an invisible but lethal weapon. This speed of implementation translates into scale, and that's where the game gets dangerous for those left behind. With internal projections pointing to a production of 2.1 TW1 per year by the third quarter of 2026, Tesla will be able to equip more than 6 million vehicles per year with these new batteries. And all this done within the United States, which eliminates tariffs, logistical bottlenecks, and geopolitical dependence. While China faces sanctions and diplomatic tensions, Tesla leverages domestic trade agreements to accelerate like no other. And anyone who thinks this mass production will generate price instability is mistaken. The move is much more calculated than it appears. To ensure cost predictability and avoid commodity market surprises, Tesla shut down its operations. Exclusive agreements with Alcoa, Norsk Hydro, and Century Aluminum, guaranteeing a fixed supply of raw materials until 2032. This means that while aluminum prices rise for competitors, Tesla keeps its numbers frozen, operating with a stability that borders on the surreal in such a volatile sector. This stability creates a kind of financial protection that most automakers have never had. With lower costs, local production, and solid partnerships, Tesla is now playing in a scenario where it can cut prices without sacrificing profit margins. Meanwhile, its Chinese competitors face a crossroads. Either they cut prices and sacrifice profits, or they maintain their prices and lose market share. In both cases, the result is the same. 
collapse of China's strategic advantage. Signs of this are already appearing in export statistics. In 2024 alone, China exported $43.2 billion worth of batteries, its third largest industrial export. Now, with a cheaper, more advanced, and more reliable American product entering the market on a large scale, this revenue stream is under threat. And it's not a slow-moving threat, it's a sudden disruption. Tesla's numbers indicate that this shift will take hold in less than two years, which is a blink of an eye for the automotive sector. This race is no longer just about innovation. It's a trade war disguised as technological advancement. Tesla isn't just selling cars. It's selling energy independence, production stability, and a local supply chain that gives the United States an advantage not seen since the industrial era. Anyone who thought the fight would be over autonomy or connectivity was sorely mistaken. The real battle is being fought at the core of the battery. And now, with price, scale, and predictability on the American side, China has lost its most important trench. If there was one barrier preventing electric cars from taking over the world, especially in colder regions, it was winter. Sub-zero temperatures have always been a nightmare for lithium-ion batteries, which can lose up to 40% of their functional capacity when the thermometer drops below, Hatu 10 degree der Sisu. In these conditions, a vehicle that promised a range of 400 kilometers barely delivers 240, and that's without turning on the heater. For years, manufacturers tried to circumvent this problem with cumbersome, expensive, and inefficient thermal systems. But now, Tesla has done something no one expected. Instead of circumventing the problem, it simply eliminated with the new aluminum ion battery. The difference is stark. During testing in Minnesota, Tesla's aluminum batteries were exposed to 40 Bratustigros for 72 consecutive hours and presented only 2% performance loss. This isn't just surprising, it's a complete game changer. While Chinese batteries can barely function in these conditions, Tesla's technology maintained 96% of its original capacity as if the cold were just a minor detail. For regions like Canada, Scandinavia, the northern US, and even Siberia, this kind of performance transforms an electric car from a luxury item into something truly functional and reliable for everyday use. In Norway, where drivers are known for being demanding and where winter tests everything to the limit, Tesla conducted a series of discrete tests with real users. The results were clear. 4% of drivers reported satisfaction with battery performance, compared to just 31% satisfaction with lithium-ion batteries from Chinese competitors. The difference is so stark that some Norwegian experts have suggested that Tesla's technology should become the new standard for electric vehicles sold in Arctic regions. And this is before the product even officially hits the market. But what's most impressive is that cold weather performance doesn't compromise charging speed. One of lithium's biggest nightmares is the need to preheat cells before recharging, which can extend charging time by more than 90 minutes in negative temperatures. With the new aluminum ion battery, this problem disappears. Even at 35 degrees C, the car maintains its ultra-fast recharging capability. Minutes without loss of efficiency. This means the user can leave the house on a freezing morning, stop for a coffee, and, in the time it takes to take a sip, be fully charged. This technological leap opens doors that once seemed forever closed. Entire markets that were considered unviable for electric cars now become real opportunities. Think of regions like Alaska, Iceland, or the Mongolian steppes. Places where electric cars were once seen as summer toys can now be the primary vehicle for families and businesses. With the ability to operate normally in extreme environments, Tesla's Model 2 is now competing with diesel pickup trucks and armored SUVs, something unthinkable until recently. The shift also affects sectors beyond personal transportation. Logistics fleets, delivery trucks, emergency vehicles, and even agricultural machinery operating in cold regions now have a viable, clean, and easier-to-maintain alternative. 
and it's no exaggeration to say that this shift could affect the entire production chain in these sectors, generating a chain reaction of modernization that begins with the battery cell and ends with entire economies. Even the mobile power market benefits. With stable thermal performance, aluminum ion batteries become ideal candidates for backup systems, portable solar power stations, and devices that require extreme reliability. Tesla, in this case, hasn't just created a solution for cars. It's set a new standard for any energy application that relies on batteries in harsh environments. And this paves the way for new product lines and strategic partnerships in areas ranging from telecommunications to polar exploration. It's curious to think that all of this begins with the simple fact that the new battery doesn't freeze. But the impact of this cold resistance echoes in areas few could have predicted. When you remove a structural limitation, like vulnerability to climate change, what's left is market freedom. And now, that freedom is in the hands of whoever can deliver a battery that works in the real world, not just on the charts. And so far, only one company has gotten there. When it comes to innovation, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing only the hype. But in the case of Tesla's new aluminum ion battery, the numbers speak louder than any promises. To test the system's durability, efficiency, and safety, the company put exactly 347 vehicles equipped with the new cells, distributed across 47 U.S. states. Together, these cars have driven more than 18, 3 million miles under real-world conditions, facing heat, cold, steep climbs, city traffic, long journeys, and even uneven terrain. Nothing was left out. The goal was simple, to prove that the technology works not only in the lab, but also on real-life asphalt. And the results surprised even the most optimistic engineers. After the equivalent of 500,000 miles of simulated driving, aluminum batteries maintained YT. 7% of original capacity, while the best Chinese lithium batteries tested in parallel did not go beyond 73,2%. In practical terms, this represents a difference of almost a decade in lifespan. With Tesla's battery, the car can comfortably run for more than 15 years, maintaining a virtually intact range. Meanwhile, vehicles with lithium batteries would already be on their second or even third set of batteries, with extremely high replacement costs. And it wasn't just the durability that caught attention. The test security also brought a glaring difference. Tesla's new aluminum ion battery was subjected to 10,000 destructive cycles, including punctures, overloads, extreme heating, and simulated collisions. None of the tests recorded thermal runaway, the dangerous phenomenon that can lead to battery explosion or fire. Lithium batteries have already had incidents in three, 7% two cases, showing that even with all the current advancements, there is still a real risk embedded in the dominant technology. With aluminum, this risk simply disappears. This kind of performance did not go unnoticed by the American government U.S. Department of Defense after a rigorous battery of tests announced the selection of Tesla's aluminum technology for its new electric military vehicle program. The decision was based not only on strength and safety, but also on operational stability in different environments. After all, for a combat vehicle, there's no room for failure. If the battery can withstand the battlefield, it's more than ready for civilian use. And this gives Tesla a technical credibility that few companies in the sector have achieved. In addition to the military, insurance companies have also begun recalibrating their risk models. Internal reports indicate that vehicles with aluminum ion batteries have a virtually zero chance of fires or serious electrical failures. The result? Some insurers have already announced discounts of up to 23% in policies for owners of these cars.